Hey, this is Charlie from DJ No DJ and Druid, and this must be the band. And uh, this tutorial is how to make white noise that can uh, be whatever length you need it to be in main stage two. I'm sure it's the same in three or one. Uh, but just to make white noise and be able to sweep it manually with a knob. All right, make a new patch. Add a channel strip, software instrument, reset the channel strip, it, there's no compression in the channel strip. Right here, go to ES2, I'm going to try to use, I'm just using any synth that comes with any main stage so that uh, you, know, you don't have to use a plug-in that some people have and some people don't. Click on this long bar, we're going to pull up Tutorial Settings, and Sync Start. It doesn't matter what you choose, but we just want something that's relatively simple because we're going to, we want a blank template, but main stage doesn't, or this, in, this instrument doesn't have one of those that I've found, so we're going to try to make it blank. Turn off 1 and 2 with these buttons. These are the oscillators, and it's got three oscillators. We only want oscillator 3. Right now, this is the mix, and right now it's only set to oscillator 2. We need to move this all the way to oscillator 3. It's hard, but it is for me, so. Right. Um, turn this dial so that it goes to noise. These are different waveforms, and noise is what you really need. I'm going to turn this volume up so you can hear it. I know that uh, it actually sounds really not so great. Computer. Hopefully, you can hear that. Really, really hope. I'm just going to turn up louder to just for sure. It sounds like static from the TV or something. Alright. So that's the start, but that's really just boring if you were just to play that. Uh, a band, that'd be dumb. Or not, I don't know, whatever. Um, but the filter is what we need to focus on here, so... Uh, right now, the blend is set all the way to filter 2 only, which is down here, I guess, that, yeah, and uh, that's good, you you can just leave it that way, just ignore these, uh, uh, the cutoff frequency is what we're going to go with here, if you don't understand cutoff frequency, just uh, Google it, and, um, you know, search low pass filter cutoff frequency, and it'll probably explain all of it, but here's the difference in uh, sound, here's the cutoff frequency as high as it goes, to sweep it, it gets lower. You could do the same thing with your mouth. When you open up your mouth, to make it brighter. And this section. Alright. So, that's what we're going to use, and also the resonance, which is the peak at the cutoff frequency. It makes it a little bit louder, which means you can hear the sweep even better. So, not, not supposed to hear that yet, but. Yeah, you can do that really well now. And that's pretty good. Alright, so, we just want to get to the place where you can play this live, you can play like an instrument, so no matter how long this sweep needs to be, uh, de depending on the tempo and the number of bars it needs to happen over, you can do it yourself. Um, so we're going to assign the cutoff frequency to whatever knob or modulation thing you can think of. So. Hopefully you've figured out a way to assign knobs you have on your controller to knobs on the screen. But Alright, so I'm pressing this. I'm going to map that. I've got a modulation wheel. I'm not doing anything right now, but you can see that I'm moving it. Uh, but if I click on that, I'm going to map that parameter. And then I'm going to click on this cutoff frequency. And you'll see that it just saw that, and now it's... It's mapped to LPF cutoff, low pass frequency cutoff. And as I do the mod wheel, yeah. All right, that's about it. I might add some reverb to it, but you know, yeah. hopefully. Uh, otherwise, it's a I'm out.